Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video, and today's topic is going to be five ways the New York Jets can make the playoffs in 2019. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention that you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary NY on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about five different ways the New York Jets could make the playoffs in 2019. As it stands right now in previous videos, in predictions, I have the Jets at 8-8. Eight and eight. I think a lot of people have this team between either seven wins and at the ceiling nine wins, but how do they get to that nine, ten win range? Well, a few things have to break right for them in, in order for that to happen. And the very first thing that I'm going to talk about is Sam Darnold taking a significant leap in year two. Yes, I think he takes a step forward in his development, but it all depends on how big of a step he takes in year two. Just a few years ago, we saw Carson Wentz and Jared Goff take a significant leap and one of those teams, the Eagles, won the Super Bowl that year, and the Rams were significantly better and made the playoffs. If Sam has one of those types of leaps, the Jets could push their expected win total up by one or two games. Like, as of right now, if he were to stay exactly the same as he was last year, this is probably a six or seven win team. If he was to increase, take a little step forward, they're probably a seven, maybe eight, maybe you could even argue nine win team. But if he takes a Carson Wentz MVP-like season type step forward, then you're looking at a 9 or a 10 win team because he can start to mask of the Jets' other inabilities and other areas. For example, Dak Prescott didn't really take a step forward in year two. He, you, some could argue he even took a step back. If that happens, the Jets are not making the playoffs. So if Sam Darnold and the New York Jets want to make the playoffs, he's going to have to take a significant leap forward, probably throw for over 3,800 yards, upwards of 25 touchdowns and cut down on the interceptions and then maybe the New York Jets could be a playoff team. The second thing on my list in order for the New York Jets to make the playoffs is to have a winning record in the division. This is something the Jets haven't done in a very long time, 2010 to be exact. The last time the Jets have had a winning record in the division was almost a decade ago and that was the last time the Jets made the playoffs. Go figure. Usually the Jets finish three and three or worse in in years gone by so here's how you can get to a winning record you split with new england you win the home game hopefully and you split with buffalo because obviously buffalo and you are on a somewhat similar playing field a lot of people think that they are going to be two three in the division and you could flip flop which team it's going to be as for new england one of those games would be a major upset but when the jets do tend to make the playoffs see 2010 2009 2006 the New York Jets have split with the New England Patriots. It's very difficult to have a good record and have any shot at the playoff picture with a losing record in your division. Obviously, it's a foregone conclusion that the New England Patriots will win this division with probably 12 wins at the bare minimum, but in order to get a wild card spot, you have to even still have a winning record in your division. The third thing on my list is having a positive turnover differential. Last year, the Jets were minus 10. Not good at all. In the last two years, they also had a negative turnover differential. The last time they had a positive one was in 2015 when they went 10-6 and six and nearly made the playoffs. For context, the Browns were plus 7. Greg Williams obviously was their defensive coordinator and head coach, and he is the defensive coordinator of the New York Jets now. So if he can have his defense create turnovers, and if they could be anywhere between plus 5, maybe even plus 10 at the high end, the Jets will be in good shape. Because this defense is going to give up a ton of big plays. They just don't have enough talent in the secondary outside of Jamal Adams and Marcus May. I'm talking cornerbacks in order to withstand their lack of pressure. So they are not going to be able to cover for long. And eventually wide receivers are going to get open. So mm -hmm. what the Jets have to do is create turnovers with the blitz. You're going to get burned by it eventually. But hopefully you create enough big plays and it works out in your favor. That's my reason number three. Sticking on the defense for reason number four for the New York Jets to make the playoffs, Leonard Williams and Quinn and Williams have to be elite interior defensive linemen. Right now, Leonard Williams has been a mild disappointment through the beginning stages of his career. He had a okay rookie year, took a step forward in 2016, and then really took a step back in 2017-2018. He's been a good, not great NFL player. He's made one Pro Bowl and was a third-team alternate, hasn't been an all-pro, and everyone in the 2015 draft was saying that this guy was the best player available in the, in the draft. Same thing about Quinn and Williams. 
Unfortunately for Leonard Williams, he hasn't lived up to that just yet. And some will argue double teams, and I understand that, yes, that is a little bit of a factor, but Henry Anderson was doubled more last year and was more productive than Leonard Williams was. So in order for this team to be productive at getting to the passer, Leonard and Quinnen up the middle have to apply pressure. The two of them can be combined like Aaron Donald. Not singularly, but combined if you have both of them rushing through the interior. You can't double-team both of them, so hopefully one of them escapes free and gets to the quarterback. The Jets really have a lack of edge rush, especially after they cut Ja'Kai Polite. Not that he was going to have any impact, but you thought, okay, there's your swing at getting an edge rusher for the future. We know that didn't work out, but if you are going to get pressure, it's going to be through the interior. Henry Anderson's solid. Quinn and Williams should be solid, and Leonard Williams is a good NFL player. If you're able to get pressure through that way and then have maybe Jamal Adams blitz on the outside every once in a while, then that way you can create pressure, and again, that'll help create turnovers. The last thing the Jets have to do is they have to stay healthy, and I know that's super cliche, but specifically with this team, they have to stay healthy because they have no depth. Look at their cornerback situation. Tremaine Johnson has to be healthy and better in order for this team to have any shot. Dal Roberts has to stay healthy. You look at the offensive line. They can't afford to lose Khalil because we saw how bad Jonathan Harrison is. They don't have very good depth on the O-line, and specifically a position group that I like a lot at the high end. So the wide receivers, their top three guys I really like. Crowder, Anunua, Anderson, that's a pretty good trio. But after that, it gets weak pretty quickly. So in order for this Jets team to make the playoffs, they can't afford to have to play their depth guys. They're going to have to do so right now with Avery Williamson done for the year at linebacker. That's one position you've already decreased your value in. Can't have that happen all over the field. Otherwise, the Jets are going to be in trouble. If the Jets have all those five things break right and get lucky, maybe you get to 10 wins, and that should be enough for the sixth seed, the second wild card spot in the division. But as of right now, I still have the Jets at 8-8. Eight and eight. They could get better, keyword being could, if these things go well. Let me know what else you think has to go right for the Jets in order to make the playoffs. See, I'm not always negative. I wanted to make a positive video today about how the Jets could make the playoffs. And if these things go right, Jets will probably be looking at ending their playoff streak, which has been almost a decade without the playoffs. So let me know in the comments what you think. You can also get at me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time.